So we're out here on the farm and I was mowing the ground. Oh, here's a tank. Say hi, tank. Hi. And we got a guest today. Uh, Rowdy, where's he at? Here's Rowdy. Say hi, Rowdy. Say hi. All right. We're out here on the farm. I was getting the lawn mowed, which is quite a bit. <laughs> we got about, I don't know, a good two acres. And we got through most of it. So I'm still working on this guy. I have to clean the, got, got all that stuff replaced and the carburetor still messed up. So it's full paint. I'll have to clean that. Got horses out here. Bunch of little Shetlands. But just to show you what I've been doing for, for the day, uh, you can see all the mowing and the Shetlands are over there. Let's see if I can make it close up here. There we go. You can see them over there. Shetlands. There, so that's what I've been doing. But I ran into a problem. I got about halfway around. You notice my beard's gone, so I don't look like an old man no more. I don't know. I might grow it back. We'll see. Got about halfway around this front area here and had trouble with the tractor. Life on the farm. Something always breaking. So I'll show you what's going on. And then I guess I'm gonna do a little how to fix it thing or something. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. So let's see. First off, I'll show you what's going on. So uh, here's the tractor. And here's what's going on. I turn this wheel. Look, nothing. Nothing. It's just spinning in there. So. I guess the first thing is to see what year it is, right? So if you, on these Troy belts, you can look at the serial number and look at the, and it says 2000, date of manufacture, 12, 20, 01. Two, I mean, 2010, 2010. So there's a 2010 tractor, which I wish it was an older one because the older ones are easier to fix. And uh, so I guess we're gonna do a how-to video on how to do that. So the first thing I gotta do is remove the gas tank. Now, if you notice, somebody has, I mean, this is, that can't be stock. I mean, give me a break. Maybe it is, I don't know. Might not have to remove the gas tank. I'll go underneath of it and I'll see what there is underneath and see how this steering wheel is mounted in here. And what we want to do is pull this whole shaft out. Now I'm pretty sure I know what's wrong with it. Uh, there's a bushing on these Troy belts that always wear out. And um, so that bushing is only six bucks. But if the gear on the steering shaft on the shaft is also worn out, then that's a problem because I can probably get the bushing at the local shop, but the but the shaft I'll have to order online. That would put me down for the rest of the day. I won't or for a couple days. And I took today, you know, I got this day off to be able to do all this work, and now I don't have a tractor. So, all right, talk to you in a few. So this is the style with the uh, big Phillips type screw on the bottom. And so I'll show you that if I can. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. I don't like really putting my camera down here. But here. Sure. Right. Nope. Right here, still. Right, 
Well, I don't know. It's like right there. Right here. Uh, you can't see it. All you can see is this. Let's see if I can do it this way. It's right here. Well, anyway, so there it is. That, I've been told, takes a, uh, won't come loose with the Phillips head very easily. So it's best to break it free with uh, some kind of vice grips first and then take it out. So I'll try that now. All right, so many of the places on YouTube or whatever tell you not to take out the deck. Man, that ain't worth it. It takes three minutes, two minutes to take out the deck and makes life much more easier. All right, so whoever's telling you not to take out the deck on this thing, just ignore that because the deck comes right off. It's pretty easy. It takes very minim minimal time. I tried and tried to try to take it off, take loosen that bolt without taking the deck off. You can't see, right? It's impossible. So short of jacking up the whole thing or whatever, you know? So uh, what I did was I took the deck off and that gave me access. Right, so this is what we ended up with. If I can get underneath here to where you can see it. Uh, let's see. You can, well, where is it? Somewhere there is, oh, it's up here. Yeah, see how I got it in right there? Right there, you can see. And all I did was I tightened it on there like that. Then I held on to it, then I held on to it, and I turned the steering wheel. You know, come on, use some brains. Fast, everybody's telling you, oh, you gotta tie the steering wheel up or whatever. Give me a break, just fasten it on there, hold on to it, and turn the wheel. It already doesn't turn, right? I mean, doesn't turn the wheel, so. Okay, I got a little upset taking this out, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm gonna pull the rest of that out. So I just turned the wheel until the screw came off. And uh, that was the easiest way. Now, some of them are telling to take the steering wheel off and all that stuff. Well, if I have to do that, I'll do that after the fact, okay? So by now, just that one screw, the whole thing should come up. So let's check it out. All right, so here we go. Yeah, see, it just comes right up by the looks of it. Oh, you got to take that off too. It locks up right there. Let's see where it's locking up. All right, so next thing, we had to pull the gas tank up out to be able to get to it. So we had to disconnect, just cut the band that was on there. It's only a, a, a plastic band that you can replace. Uh, what is it? And then we had to undo the vent. Giant zip tie is what the band is. Cut that off there that and now let's see if we can see what's down here what is holding it from slipping out so it looks like this right here right see that there's some kind of bushing there that needs to come out so <laughs> so the gas tank just fell off the tractor so that bushing will come off next. All right, so it looks like a 5 16th. I'll show you. All right, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see, right, right there, see it? So I'm gonna pull that out, but I did notice that that, uh, you still won't be able to go through the top of the plastic that's holding the steering wheel right there. So I'm guessing that I'll have to pull that off, right? Pull the plastic off of the top right here with these, uh, let's see, with these bolts right here, pull this plastic piece off so that it can raise up a little bit high enough to, cause I'll have to take this, the screw out after, after the steering wheel after all so I can lower the bar the the shaft through this way the only other option is to is to make this hole bigger 
right here which I'm not gonna I don't want to bust nothing you know if I can avoid it so I'm gonna do that and then I'll let you know how it go went okay so that was wasted effort let me show you why as you can see you see in here you see this right if you lift this up it still can't fit through the hole right the uh, the gear still doesn't fit through the hole so you have to take this mount off all the way there's bolts there bolts there and this plastic is going to have to come off too and we're going to have to <coughs> take the steering wheel off after all and then the whole then you have to go yes yeah. once you loosen it from the bottom you have to pull it that way through you know it reminds me of my cadillac you know you have to take the intake off to replace the starter what who designs these things you know it's like okay you know it's gonna bust so why do that but anyway so now i got you know four or five more screws to take off and then i'll finally be able to pull that shaft out Okay, so I had to use a puller to get the steering wheel off. Understand. All this is what God brings. Yeah, it's off. It just just had to have two hands to pull it. But see, because when you pull it with one, it, it won't come off. So, but when I grab it with both, it just comes right off. So it's just a little tight. All right, so there we go. Now, this thing, oh. I put that on there to hold it still. So see now, once I've undone those bolts right there, this whole thing just slides forward, right? I undone those sides and those on the bracket. Now this will come right out. Like so. And here's the bushing. That is made out of plastic. No wonder it didn't work, right? Worn out. And that is definitely worn out. Yeah, sure enough. And it's worn out, a little oblong. So I'm gonna get a new stat, a new shaft, a new two new bushings, and we'll go from there. All right? And that's how you take it apart. And that's enough. All right, so today is all about lawn mowing. That means we have to get the lawn mower up and going. And we got well, about an acre and a half to mow. So, so the tractor's all done. I didn't have the strap. I just used the wire. And we replaced the shaft down here. There's a little thing down there that you got to be careful of, and the bolt and it should start so let's check it out oh that is not where i want to sit hold on shot shall we here we go Just a quick update on that lawnmower. <laughs> I got out there, started mowing with it, and guess what? The well that is on the steering, not the part that we fixed already, but up there on the steering control arm, the one that connects to the wheel, the well broke. So I got one one wheel that'll do whatever it wants. So now I have to re-weld that. But all the mowing's done. Yay! I'll catch you later. Thank you.